Rourke's IRC National Championship was held from Friday to Sunday, with eight races scheduled and completed. Entries were down by 30% overall on last year, with 62 boats racing across five classes, compared with 88 last year. The effects of a recession on yacht racing are clearly being felt. On Friday, the race committee got in three races after a wait for wind and a shift of course to the eastern Solent, where a solid southeasterly allowed some good racing. In Super Zero, last year's winner Nicholas Zenstrom's TP52 ran immediately demonstrated their superiority with three straight wins. In IRC Class Zero, Michael Bartholomew's King 40 Tokoloshi had a great day with two wins in a second place. John Shepard's Kerr 46 Fair Do 7 had a second in the first race, but a disqualification from the second, followed by a tenth in the third, dented their spirits. Piet of Rune's brand new Kerr 46 Tenere of Breskins scored a 3 1 3 to register their intent on the silverware. In IRC 1, David Dwyer's Mills 39 Mariner's Cove.ie was on top at the end of Friday, but Peter Rutter's Corby 36 Quokka won the first race and took two thirds to lie second overall. John Patterson's J122 Panacea was also in the hunt and they ended up third on the day. In IRC Class 2, Steve Northmore's A35 Waterjet was sixth in race one, but won the next two races to lead the class. Chris and Hannah Neves' first 34.7 no doubt won the first race, but two fourths pushed them into second at the end of the day, while John T. Layfield's J39 Sleeper recovered from a poor first race to score two podium finishes and claim third place in class. In IRC Class 3, Peter Morton's quarter tonner anchor challenge won race one and was second in race two, but then suffered gear failure and didn't finish race three. With a discard counting, they still led the class, ahead of another quarter tonner, runaway bus, with Adam Gosling's Corby 30 yes in third. Saturday brought 15 knots gusting to over 20 from the southeast providing a testing time for the sailors, with the tide kicking up lumpy waves. In Super Zero, RAN continued their total domination by winning all three races by big margins. Cutting Edge held on to second in class, with the FAR 52 Chernakeef 2 in third, ahead of the only other boat in the class, the RYA's TP52 John Merrick's 2. In Class Zero, Tenere de Breskens had a perfect day scoring three straight wins. Tokoloshi dropped a second overall and John Shepard's Kerr 46 Fair Do 7 scored three podium finishes to hold third place ahead of Nigel Passmore's J133 Apollo. In Class 1, Mariner's Cove was second to the Corby 36 Quokka in race four, but came back strongly to take the win in races five and six. Panacea put in another solid performance to hold third in class with two races to go. In class two, Waterjet enjoyed the brisk conditions to win two races and consolidate the class lead. John T. Layfield's J39 Sleeper retained second place in class, while Peter Morton's first 34.7 Salvo moved into third place on count back from no doubt. Adam Gosling's Corby 30 Yes scored a perfect three bullets in class three to take the lead from Peter Morton's anchor challenge, which had more gear failure and failed to finish two races. Louise Morton's Espada moved up to second in class with Paul Kelsey's runaway bus in third. Sunday saw the wind shift to the south and drop in strength, but all classes were able to get in their final two races. Nothing and no one was going to stop Nicholas Zenstrom's RAN from completing a perfect string of eight firsts in eight races, and they simply sailed away from their competition in every race to totally dominate the small Super Zero fleet. Cutting Edge had been collecting a string of second places, 
but in Sunday's final two she dropped to last in each race, although she held on to second overall. Chernakeith too took third place in the series ahead of the RYA's John Merricks too. In Class 0, Tokoloshi won the penultimate race by less than a minute, but Tenere de Breskens won the last race to clinch the overall class title. Tokoloshi took second place in class, while Tony Langley's Far 45 Atomic of Cows grabbed third place with a second place finish in the last race. The battle between Mariners Cove and Quokka in Class 1 went right to the wire. Quokka won race seven to pile on the pressure, but Mariners Cove fought back, winning the last race by under a minute. The victory not only meant a class win, but the Mariners Cove.ie team from Ireland also won the overall prize for the Rourke IRC National Championship. Quokka ended up second in class and overall, while third in the class was John Patterson's J122 Panacea. In class two, the class leader, Waterjet, lost their chance of the overall title with two mid-fleet results in the final two races, but they held on to take the class win. The J39 Sleeper won the last two races to end up second overall, with no doubt taking third. Adam Gosling's Corby 30, yes, was the clear winner of IRC class three, despite the challenge from four quarter tonners. Peter Morton's anchor challenge suffered a lot of gear failure, which put her out of three races. But his wife, Louise, sailing a Sparda, was more consistent, and she took second place in class, ahead of another quarter-tonner runaway bus. This was a good regatta with plenty of action in a variety of conditions in the central Solent, but the sharp reduction in entries must give cause for concern for all event organisers and clubs. <laughs>